When they when they when they we know how we know how no when they when they when they we know how we know how no when they when when they we know how we know how no when they when they when they we know how we know how no when they when they when they. Hello and welcome to lesson two of the Mountain Maidu language class. Last time we learned pronunciation and how to read the letters. And today we'll review and practice a little bit. We're going to learn how to count in Maidu and we're going to learn some greetings. The polite way to greet someone in Maidu is to say, how are you? Let's look at how this word is written and try to sound it out. When you see it on the screen, try to pronounce it and then listen to the native speaker pronounce it. Then repeat after her. Sasaka, Hasasaka. When someone asks you, Hasasaka, the answer is, I am fine. See how this is written in Maidu and try to pronounce it before you hear the native speaker. Then repeat after the native speaker. Yahakas, Yahakas. In this lesson, we will learn some new words. There will be a handout you can download from the Facebook page, Mountain Maidu Language Class, with a list of these new words. Here's a good way to memorize the words. Get yourself some cards, like these 3 by 5 cards. You can cut them up smaller if you like it to make more. I have so many of these with Maidu words and sentences on one side and English on the other. Once you make a few of these with the Maidu on one side and English on the other, you can test yourself. Go through the cards, look at the Maidu side, and see if you remember what it means in English. If you get it right, you put it in one pile. If you get it wrong, you put it in the other pile. Now, keep going back through the ones you got wrong, and the pile will get smaller and smaller. Once you know all those words going from Maidu to English, turn them over and test yourself from English to Maidu, which is harder. Over time, you'll make a lot of these cards, but I think you'll find it worth it. Every time we have a lesson, there will be a vocabulary list posted for that lesson on our Facebook page. Making a flash card for every word on the list will help you pick up the vocabulary. In the first lesson, we learned how each letter sounds in Maidu. Now we're going to practice reading Maidu words to see if we remember the sounds of the letters. When you see the word on the screen, read it out loud. Then you'll hear a native speaker pronounce it. Did you get it right? Repeat after the native speaker. I got to Like Hini Lolo Lolo Maidu Maidu Mam Chipbu Mam Chipbu Nikopayatam 
Hindi ko pa yata. Um... Nikki P. Nikki P. Po esto. Po esto. Tuidom. Tuidom. Now that you've had a chance to sound out some words, let's look at some words that are almost the same as each other so you can compare and hear how one letter can make a difference in meaning. Unfortunately, I don't have recordings of a native speaker saying all the words in the sets, but I will try my best to pronounce them for you. Please repeat the words after me. Koyo, make up for. Koyo, that is if you do something wrong, you have to pay a penalty or make up for it in some way, and that's what koyo means. Koyo, with a different kind of K, means meadow or valley. Koyo. Korom, snowing. Ko is snow, just a regular K. Korom, country, with a glottalized or special K. Korom, country. Lele, star. Lele, lele, red bud. Now, usually we say when the word ends in I, we say e, like lili, but it's really lele in this case. So that's an exception. That's red bud. Lolo, lolo is basket. Lolo. Lulu, lulu is waist or the torso part of the body. Mani, mani is cedar. Mini, mini is milk. Mani, mani is after or then. Many, many, unimportant. Maku, turn out to be. Maku. Maka, maka means do you, and a question. Makal, makal is fish, any fish. Pini, riverbed, pini. Pine, pine is lunch. Penne is two, the number two. Pani, tobacco, pani. Pekka, did you eat? Pekka, paka, sinew, regular P, regular K, paka, sinew, paka, paka, branch, like a branch of a tree. Paka, pay, pay somebody. Pika, pika, dry, to dry something, drying meat out, for example. Sawi, any vegetation or greens? Sawi. Sawi, river. Sawi. Siwi, digging stick. Siwi. Tete, tete means stay away. Tetipnik means stay away from me. <laughs> tete. Tete is a nest. Tete is big. Tete. Tata, daddy. Tata, sole of the foot or palm of the hand. Tata, tata is dogwood. Ta-ta. Toli, leg. Tuli, sometimes spelled with a fish head, tuli, grasshopper. 
dolo, dolo is spoon, can also mean shovel, dolo. Today we're going to learn how to count in Maidu. Let's listen to Mame Gallagher say each number up to 11. Please repeat after her. Sutti. Sutti. Penny. Penny. Sapu. Sapu. Juyi. Juyi. Mawaku. Mawaku. Saijoko. Saijoko. Saijoko na sutti. Saijoko na sutti. Saijoko na pene. Saijoko na pene. Saijoko na sapu. Saijoko na sapu. Mastoko. Mastoko. Mastoko na sutti. Mastoko na sutti. It's all about the math. You hear na at the end of a number. Think of that as plus. Sai choko na sutti is six plus one, which is seven. Sai choko na pene is six plus two, which is eight. Sai choko na sapu is six plus three, which is nine. We saw how mas choko is ten and mas choko na suti is eleven. What do you think mas choko na pene is? Mas choko na pene means twelve. If mawaka is five, what is mawaka na suti? Mawaka na suti is another way of saying six. Notice the root ma in mawaka and maschoko. Ma means hand. Mawaka five means one hand, with wuk being an old word for one. Those of you familiar with counting in Konkau or Nisanan might recognize the word wuk for one. Choko means a pair of. Mas choko means a pair of hands, which is ten. Mas choko. The word six, sai choko, has the word pair, choko, at the end. What is six of pair of? It's a pair of threes. Sai choko is short for sapu choko, a pair of threes. It's also correct to say sutim mas choko, one pair of fives. Sutim mas choko for ten means one pair of fives. Sutim mas choko, sutim mas choko. Besides using addition to form numbers with that na, Maidu uses multiplication. For example, penem mas choko means 20. That's 2 pene times 10 mas choko. Penem mas choko is 20. So what do you think 30 is if sapa is 3? Sapum mas choko. So what do you think 100 would be? Mas chokom mas choko, 10 times 10. The word 10 can be pronounced either mas choko or mais choko. And also, the word we learned for 7 from Feral Yatam was tebibe. So you might have that in your dialect, tebibe, for 7. Here's another thing you should know about the numbers. When you're counting or just saying a number by itself, you can say it either with or without an M at the end. Here are some examples. You can either say suti or sutim. Same thing. Pene or penem. That means the same thing. Now, 
when we start putting words together and you're saying how many of something there are, then you do have to put the M on the end of the number. For example, if you're saying two men, you have to say panem mitem, panem. You have to put the M on the end when you're telling how many of something there are. And we'll learn about that in another lesson. But meanwhile, if you're just counting, you can say the number with an M or without an M. So what do you think pen chu yi means? Pen is short for penem. Chu yi is four. Pen chu yi. Well, it's another word for eight. Two penem chu yi. Four. Two times four is eight. Another word for nine, mom chu yi, hand ma, mom chu yi. It's a five plus chu yi four. Besides saying sai choko na suti for seven, you can say sai chok na suti, just cutting the word a little short and throwing out the o. It's a lot like English. You can either say cannot or you can shorten it to can't. You can say do not or you can shorten it to don't. So it's right either way. You can either say sai choko na suti for seven, or you can say sai chok na suti. Shorten it a little bit. And you can shorten any other number that has na the same way, like mas chok na suti. So we learned a counting song from Farrell Yatam early on in his class. And so I'm going to sing you the song, and then you're going to sing it. And we're just using the number words that we learned from Farrell Yatam, but you might later on make your own song with um, your favorite versions of the number words. Singing, singing something can help you remember it. So, apologizing for my singing voice in advance. Here goes. Suti pene sapa chui, mawaka sai chuko te bi be, pen chu yi, mam chu yi, mas choko a wet and babe. Suti pene sapa chui, Mawaka sai choko te bi be, pen chu yi, mam chu yi, mas choko. You heard me say aweten be bub, that means once again. What he used to do is make a stand up before we sang. So tustoi means stand up. So I'm telling you, tustoi. We're going to try it. Here we go. Suti pene sapa chui, mawaka sai choko te bi be, pen chu yi, mam chu yi, mas choko, a wet and babe. Suti pene sapa chui, mawaka sai choko te bi be, pen chu yi, mam chu yi, mas choko. Badoi kit, badoi kit, sit down. Badoi kit. Okay. Hell. That means okay in Maidu. It's related to the word hell on I that you hear at the end of a prayer or a speech. But you'll use this word a lot, meaning okay or well. So practice saying hell. Hell. So please try to memorize the numbers from 1 to 12. You'll use those in the Maidu board game when you're counting spaces up to 12 on the dice. And be aware of the variations in the numbers and how to make those bigger numbers. As we've been learning greetings and counting today and pronunciation in lesson one, some of you might be scratching your heads thinking, that is way different from what I learned. Some of you from Butte County, even if your ancestors were Mountain Maidu, might have learned Konkau. Konkau and Mountain Maidu are two different languages. The confusion is that the word for person or man is Maidu in both languages. 
when linguists and anthropologists first came through and asked people, what are you? The obvious answer was a person. It was not meant to describe a language or tribe. So three different languages came to be called Maidu. And all three have a right to call themselves that. But this class is only about mountain Maidu. So how do you know if you learn Konkau? If you say Wukti or Wikte for the number one instead of Suti, you may be speaking Konkau. If you say ni hai for I am instead of kakas, and mi hano for you are instead of kaankano, you may be speaking konkau. If you say chen for the word seeing or to see instead of chadom, you may be speaking konkau. If you say homatiche for how instead of hesadom, you may be speaking konkau. If you say wene for good instead of yaha, you may be speaking konkau. If you say henoi kanom for coyote instead of wepa, you may be speaking konkau. If you say ku for father instead of beke, and kule for woman instead of kule, you may be speaking konkau. If you learn Konkau first, it'll be hard for you to break the habit of putting the stress on the first part of the word. The advantage for you will be that you already know a lot of words and what they mean. The disadvantage is that your pronunciation will make it sound like you have an accent. What Farrell Yatam used to say, sounds like Beldonese. Nisanan is another one of the Maiduan languages that have the word Maidu for person. Here's a map showing where Nisanan country is. It's the yellow one. It's not as likely that you learn Nisanan since there have been no native speakers for decades. What I mean by native speakers is people who learn that language first before English. But here goes just in case. If you say witte or wukte for the number one, you may be speaking nisanan. If you say ain for the word to see or seeing, you may be speaking nisanan. If you say homatin for how instead of hesadom, you may be speaking nisanan. If you say te for father instead of beka, you may be speaking nisanan. If you say olem for coyote, you may be speaking nisanan. If you say when for good, you may be speaking nisanan. All three languages do have similar words with the same meaning, but there are differences. The word for I sums it up. Mountain Mighty pronunciation is hini with the stress on the last syllable. That is, the last part of the word is pronounced louder. Konkau pronunciation is hini, with the stress on the first I. Nisanan pronunciation is hin. The last vowel is just not there. This class is only about Mountain Maidu. We will not be covering Konkau or Nisanan in this class. You will find the vocabulary list on the Facebook page, Mountain Maidu Language Class. To memorize the new words, copy them onto flashcards, and then practice testing yourself. Sing the counting song. Greet people in Maidu every day. When people go away from each other, they could say, Chamakas min, I'll see you. Also, the person who is leaving says to the one staying, Yahat bispada, stay well, or say, stay safe. Yahat bispada. The person who is staying says to the one leaving, Yahat akoi pada, go well or go safely. Yahat akoi pada. So let's repeat those. First, I'll see you is chemakas min. Chemakas min. Stay safe is Yahat bispada. Yahat bispada. Go safely or go well is yahat ukoi pada. Yahat 
Ukoipada. So until next time, Chamakas men, I'll see you. Yahat Bispada. Stay safe.